Hey guys, here we go into uh, Keys to Victory, three of four for Andre Ward. Uh, and it's not rushing in, you know, to take his time and to work his way in. Uh, one of the problems with Andre Ward is um, he doesn't spend a lot of time fainting and probing and working his way into his offense. Uh, a lot of times you saw earlier in the fights, uh, in the fight he would explode out of punches um, and not really, not, not set them up. Uh, and it caused him to get hit with uh, some punches that he didn't need to get hit with. Um, and also, the way that he would come in to work his way inside, he would, it was very, a lot of times it was very basic, and he put himself into a lot of danger. Um, the third clip in this video being one of him walking right onto a uppercut from Sergei Kovalev. Uh, and if Sergei Kovalev was indeed overtrained, maybe he wasn't able to hit him with the kind of powerful shots he was hoping to. Uh, and that might be different in the course of this fight. Um, so one of his keys to the victory in this fight is not going to be taking those easy shots from Kovalev um, and making him work for it uh, while he works his way inside. So we're going to start breaking this down. Here you have Andre Ward coming in, and he kind of just explodes out of his guard with the left with the jab, but he also eats a left hook on the inside. If you see, even though he lands that jab, he eats a left hook, and that's not where you really want to be with when you're fighting someone like... Um, Sergey Kovalev, the crusher. He does manage to get inside, and although the referee breaks them really quickly, um, uh, that was all in the hope of him uh, working his way inside so that he can fight on the inside uh, and score points. In this instance, he doesn't really set this up either. He immediately just dips to his left, gives him a little bit of a roll as he shifts, but he starts eating uh, big counter shots here. Um, and if these were a little bit more well-placed, um, Maybe Andre Ward would have a, a little tougher time, you know, getting inside. It does look like he almost gets him with the left hook here. Here we go. You know, it's not exactly like with the scoring parts of the knuckles, right? But he does land a left hook that would be counted as a scoring blow. But he doesn't really want to take these kinds of punches that Kovalev is capable of dishing out while he's working his way in. And I'll show you some other instances in which he does work his way in really well. But again, right here, uh, he does something kind of clever. Whoops. He ducks down first, right? But Kovalev reads it well as he's shifting, as he's too far away for this technique to work. And he walks right into an uppercut. And that might be the end of the fight if Andre Ward does that to a fresh Kovalev. So he's going to need to work his way in and uh, be patient. And in this instance... <clears throat> Uh, one of the ways that he does that is by using the jab, you know, probing with the jab, getting Kovalev to miss with it, and sliding under it. Uh, and while he doesn't want his head in the in the headlock position, I do feel like in the second fight, uh, because it was so highly criticized, that Kovalev is not going to be able to get away with putting him in a headlock at all. Um, and Kovalev's going to have to look for other ways to mitigate this type of technique. So I think it's going to be pretty effective for Andre Ward. Uh, again, really clever right here. Um, he jabs, but if you see, if you see what Ward does, he ducks down and he parries the jab, and he's able to get in and body up with Kovalev. Although he puts his head under his his arm, in this case, he's able to wiggle his way out and land a left to the body. Uh, you don't get to see the left land clearly, but you hear it clearly on the clip. Uh, again, allowing Kovalev to come in, right? Kovalev. Um, if he's able to use the first technique um, by making Kovalev uh, the first key to victory by keeping Kovalev at a distance, uh, controlling the middle space, he's going to make Kovalev impatient, and Kovalev is just going to open up with offense rather than setting his punches up, and that's going to allow Andre Ward to close the distance easier and work his way inside and then land some body shots on the inside and fight on the inside, which is exactly where he wants to be. Um, uh, during the course of most of his scoring. Again, really clever right here. Ducks down. Kovalev thinks he's going to jab uh, to the body, but Kovalev, but Andre Ward slips it, comes inside, uh, and he's able to start working on the inside and land punches. Again, uh, that being another part of the, the craft that he has for his jab to the body and how integral that jab to the body is for setting traps, uh, this being another one of those traps of how he works his way inside. Again, Ducks to the, gives him a, a feint to, to the body, right? And then is able to slip inside. And even though he doesn't land that punch, uh, this is exactly what he's going to need to do 
uh, all night. And then a much cleaner example, Kovalev jabs, and Andre Ward is able to slip to the inside. And although he doesn't land any punches right here, Kovalev uh, smartly controls his head after missing that shot. Uh, there are opportunities there for, for Ward to throw punches. Here he comes. Now, with part of the craft that he's used, where he, where he dips down, uh, Kovalev at this point is not going to know whether he's dipping down to jab or he's dipping down so that he can shift in and throw punches. So it's going to put Kovalev on the defensive. And rather than holding Kovalev when he gets inside, he's going to have body shots that are open uh, just like this one. All set up, again, off of uh, the body shot. Again, beautiful work from him getting under the shots as he's already frustrated Kovalev by not allowing the probes and the feints to be effective, by continuing to move away from him, and able to actually do some really great body, body work on the inside, uh, and that being exactly what he needs to do. Um, not clinching and holding, but even though in this case he slips under the shot, Kovalev doesn't get him into a headlock because at this point in the fight, you know, it's a little worn. Uh, and I think this is exactly how it's going to go uh, in the next fight, in this fight, the coming up one. Uh, and Ward's going to be able to get under those shots after working his way in and fight on the inside. Um, and being patient with this and not just running in and running into counter shots and running into left hooks and right hooks and uppercuts is going to be extremely important. Ward's definitely going to have to work on setting up the ways that he comes in and mounting his offense. Because again, uh, without having a, a very powerful right hand um, and most of his offense being predicated off of the body work um, or the, the jab to the body, setting up his punches, but also fighting on the inside, he's going to have to set up the ways that he gets to the inside uh, and closes the distance. And that's going to be extremely important for Andre Ward in this coming fight. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you.